Indoor Residual Spraying, or IRS, is one of two interventions recommended by WHO for large-scale use to prevent malaria, along with insecticide-treated nets. For IRS, insecticides are sprayed inside houses and other buildings where disease-transmitting insects are likely to rest. These insecticides remain active for months, and when certain insects like mosquitoes land on the sprayed surface, the insecticide kills them. IRS is used in a number of different situations, which include large-scale repeated campaigns in endemic areas, targeted spraying in foci in low transmission settings, in response to imported cases in non-endemic areas, or to protect populations affected by humanitarian emergencies. IRS has been widely used to kill Anopheles mosquitoes that spread malaria but it can also be used to kill other insects that transmit diseases to humans. These insects, known as vectors, include Aedes mosquitoes that transmit viruses that cause dengue, chikungunya, yellow fever and Zika virus disease, sandflies that transmit parasites that cause leishmaniasis, triatomine bugs that transmit parasites that cause Chagas disease, and various mosquito species that carry parasites that cause lymphatic filariasis. Regardless of the target vectors and diseases, there are certain requirements that will ensure IRS operations are high quality, effective and safe for spray operators, community members and the environment. IRS needs to be well planned and well resourced. To be effective, spraying must be done properly and only in areas where most of the vectors feed and rest indoors and where people spend time or sleep indoors where and when vectors are present. In addition, these should be areas where most of the structures are suitable for spraying. The community accepts spraying so the spray teams can easily access houses and buildings and the insecticide protects against biting vectors throughout the disease transmission season. Although these general aspects apply to all spray programs, modifications can be made to suit the resting behavior of local vectors. For example, some vector species may feed on and rest near animals, so animal sheds should also be sprayed, may commonly rest closer to the ground, so spraying can be confined to lower areas, may rest mainly in bedrooms, living rooms and hallways, so these rooms should be the spray focus. Knowing the local vectors and their behaviors allows modification of IRS campaigns to target the places where vectors are most likely to come into contact with insecticide. This can save time and money. Any modifications must be guided by knowledge of local vector resting behaviors. Based on what is known about most malaria vectors, full wall and eave spraying is preferred. But for other vectors, modifications are often made. To help countries carry out effective IRS, WHO has produced updated guidance for comprehensive planning of spray campaigns. This covers considerations for malaria, Aedes-borne diseases, Leishmaniasis, Chagas disease, and lymphatic filariasis. This details how to establish and manage an IRS program, plan and prepare for an IRS campaign, implement a campaign, and monitor, evaluate, and review IRS operations. A range of sample data forms and monitoring tools are included as annexes. This IRS operational manual is designed to complement WHO recommendations and guidance for specific diseases. These can sometimes be updated, such as when new insecticide product classes become available for IRS. The latest version should always be sourced from the WHO website. Countries are urged to use this expanded IRS operational manual to develop localized plans and guidance. This may include spray operator manuals or training materials tailored to the target vectors and diseases with translation to local languages. In this way, the updated operational manual will support locally appropriate, high-quality, safe and effective IRS operations to prevent the spread of vector-borne diseases. WHO plans to extend this manual based on emerging IRS operational experience, particularly for control of vectors other than Anopheles.